Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mic. My name is Mike. For today's compliment, I just want to say that your head is looking extremely large. And that's because you have a very large brain. Apparently, when you learn something new, your brain gets wrinklier. So prepare to get wrinklier, ladies and ladies, because my new podcast is now live. Impossible. Yes, you heard me correct. This is not a scan. This is not fake news. This is not Fox News. Jumping in an elevator is my new podcast where I answer the questions that you want the answers to, but can't be bothered Googling them yourself, such as what happens when you jump in an elevator? Did Taylor Swift really travel in a suitcase? Find out in the links in the description. There's a link to the podcast channel, so make sure you go and subscribe to that. And I just published the first episode. It's also on Spotify. It's not on Apple Podcasts yet because it needs to be reviewed, which apparently takes two weeks. For this video, we're going to be doing something that I do regularly, and that is look at houses that I can't afford. I've been spending a lot of time on Architectural Digest and watching a lot of videos from these New York YouTubers who go and look at really expensive houses and stuff, but they, like, I don't know what it is. They just seem to really like enunciating and rounding their words. They speak round. This is a $16 million mansion. And it's like, okay, my current apartment leasing company, whatever they're called, they're trying to scam me. I found an apartment in my building that's bigger and cheaper. And now they're ignoring all my emails and calls. Ha 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 ha, I'm gonna get you. Okay, so I'm on some website called realtor.com. Mega rich people aren't real. Let's just get that out of the way. Rich people are real. Mega rich people are in fact not real. On the front page here, we've got a $30 million house, a $70 million house, and a $20 million house. But can you smell that? It smells like poor. And we don't want that, so let's filter by price high to low. So at the top of the pile, there's a $165 million mansion. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. 165 million, 20 bed, 23 bathroom. Just enough for me. This driveway is really giving me Monte Carlo casino vibes. However, Monte Carlo, the movie that Selena Gomez was in. Look, I do like this hallway, but I'm gonna be real. It gives me Britney Spears Instagram vibes when she runs through the hallway and she like do the da -da 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 spit up thing and turn around. And the song will be like, express yourself, don't repress yourself. I want glass, I want aluminium, I want concrete. I don't want to see a single living thing in there. Not that wood is living. No. Oh, no. This right here is giving me High School Musical 2 Resort, where Zac Efron is the lifeguard. Here we have a nice aerial view of what's happening. There's the house for the adults, and then in the side we have the house for the kids. Bro, that is like a lot of grass. And I'm not mowing that shit. Concrete everywhere. I commend whoever is selling this house for only putting six pictures up for a $160 million listing. You are bold. Next we have 1011. Nice little bit of binary there. <laughs> North Beverly Drive, Beverly Hills, California 90210. This picture right here is for the flat earthers. I think they call it a flat earther. This just seems like a more flop reversed version of the previous house. Like we've got the main house and then the miniature Barbie doll house split into three with a pool. Like do something original. I love the hedges though. I love a hedge and I love the movie Over the Hedge. And then we have a nice mystery photo because my internet is disgraceful. This is like a fun little imagine what this picture could be. I think it's a close up of the hedge. Next we have 1441, we love a palindrome. Angelo Drive, Beverly Hills, zero beds, seven, Zero beds, 741 square foot. What is square feet? America, oh my God. I read somewhere that America tried to change to meters, but then people thought it was infringing on their freedoms to use feet. I don't know what this is. What am I looking at? Is it a block? That's not a real house. Lot rendering. The quality of this, um, um. this really does give me final year architecture assessment vibes. One of my favorite things about this is that it has two of the little image in the bottom right hand corner. They were like, let's just take this image and plagiarize our own work. If you plagiarize yourself, this is one of the things that I was wondering, right? Can you guys please stop calling me? Look, I can't get back to my settings. You know, with copyright strikes, what if you upload a video that has your own content in it and then you copyright claim it before someone else can claim it and it has other copyrighted material in it. Does that mean you get to claim your own copyright? That's serving me Loch Ness realness. Category is Scottish Lake. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Transformers. What do we have here? This seems to be the section where One Direction lives. They get a little house each. 
who's who? I would say on the right we've got Louis and Harry, nice and close together. Yeah. And a cute little tree as well. Next we have a five bed, eight bath. Ooh, this looks like the hype house. This is giving me Ella Enchanted vibes, to be honest. I love a terracotta roof. I love a roof that makes me want to run on it like Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> Imagine being able to parkour, I would fucking shred those stairs. Does the crockery match the house? That ugly chandelier though, she has to go. Go, you look busted. I don't know about this little island thing in the middle with these rounded cupboards. And a rounded PowerPoint. You know what? Let's just get rid of this. Not this. This one here is more my vibe. I want to live in a sci-fi movie. So this is pretty much what I want. You know what? I would say this is the house that Grimes will live in. Like up there is his room. Nice little views of the surrounds and then Grimes will be in that top right hand side. This house looks like the type of place where you go to get murdered by like a group of killer robots that were working as like the staff and then they turned on you. I like this little balcony walkway type deal. Imagine you're fighting one of the robots and then you're on this and you push them off and they go falling down three floors and they smash because they're made of glass and aluminium which are my ideal material. Not a big fan of the indoor pools. Like I just don't want to swim. I hate swimming pools and I hate swimming. And I was going to say I hate water, but I hate chlorinated water because it reminds me of the time that I nearly drowned at the 2009 swimming carnival in which I had to swim freestyle. I mean, it was division F, but I had a panic attack on a little jumpy thing. And I jumped in with my mouth open, breathed in water. I had to swim out on the side of the pool with the whole school watching, which was really fun. And I really enjoyed that. Here we have 1175 North Hillcrest Road. Seven beds, 7.5 plus baths. I am fucking with no decimal. I don't want that. I don't want to deal with that. We're going to move past that and we're going to go to New York. And the only things I really know about New York are that Jan Sport from Drag Race lives in New York City. They have food on the street, not on the floor. They have little like do 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 hot dogs. These New York tabs I'd opened before I decided that I was going to sort by price high. So it looks like we've got a little bit of a poor house. $40 million, five beds, 5.5 baths, 20 West 53rd Street, fists, 48 and 49 fists. I like the idea of the staircase being near the glass because I like to look at the peasants while I'm escalating. This literally just looks like Jan's apartment from her Instagram lives. So my apartment in Melbourne is pretty much one square meter and one wall is all glass. And it freaks me out how people can see me. And this is like old glass. This is much more in my price range. $75 million, five beds, 6.5 bath, 25 Columbus, 80. This would be where one of the less cool Avengers would live, I would say. Like Tony Stark's not living in this. Bruce Banner's not living in this. I know Bruce Banner loves a little bit of glass, a little bit of aluminium, and I ain't seeing any aluminium here. That carpet makes me wanna punch that window and jump. Okay, this is giving me like Abstergo Assassin's Creed modern day scenes. Imagine being so rich that you have a literal chess table. Hey, you wanna come over to my house? What will we do there? Let's play some chess. What do you mean? On your couch? No, on my chess table, bitch. And I said no indoor pools, but is this like mind or pool with an earth wall? Or is this the apartment buildings? Because <gasps> if it's the apartment buildings, delete. I don't want to deal with a single person. If I'm paying $75 million, I don't want to talk to another person ever. Here we have what looks like the National Secrets Room. These photos are so chaotic. Where are we? Is this the same building? Is this the same house? Is this an underground bunker? Let's finish off with this nice little cheap $48 million three bed, 3.5 baths, three beds for $48 million. That's $16 million per bed. Got a bed. With your mortgage on it. This one is really just giving me absolutely nothing. Like, I feel nothing. I feel the antithesis of nothing, which is everything, because I hate it. Is this my lobby or is this the building's lobby? I'm not dealing with anyone, not today. Do you smell that? The smell of P word, pool. At least the building kind of looks like a transformer. Like, I'm expecting this building to just get up and 
hit me. So that's all the ones that I had on here. I think my ideal house, if I had to build it, this is for the simmers out there that play the sims. If you want to build me a house, I want glass, I want aluminium, I want steel. I really want lots of different levels, like I love a mezzanine. That brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go and check out my podcast channel. Give it a listen on Spotify and Apple Podcasts when it's up there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out. And bye. It's Christmas. Let's go home. And let's stream Mike's new podcast while we're there. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>